Hey guys, D Crazy here, back with another video, and welcome to the first ep episode of my Scratch tutorial series. Um, today we are going to be uh, doing. Today we are going to be doing learning how to download Scratch and a short introduction of Scratch. Now, first of all, what you want to do is you want to go over to scratch dot dot mit dot edu slash uh, crap hold on scratch dot mit dot edu slash download and then I'll put the link in the description in, down below and then you just select which one you have I have a Windows device, but you can download it on Windows on you can also download it on Mac, Chrome, or Android. For Windows and Mac, all you have to do you have to go to their, either get it off, get it from Microsoft, get it from get it from Microsoft or the App Store, and then or go to the direct download and then install it. But for Chrome and Android, all you have to do is just download it. You don't have to install it. Anyway, let's let's download it and save as oh by the way this is scratch version 3 so yeah um let's keep it on the desktop uh yeah and then wait for it to download I'll be right back, guys. When it down, when it finished down, I'll cut to to the to when it finishes downloading, and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, as you can see, Scratch has finished downloading. Now, what you want to do is go to your desktop. It should be there now, and then double click it. It should open the launcher or whatever the the. The setup, yeah, the setup for Scratch should appear here soon. There we go. Here we go. Choose installation. Um, anyone who uses this computer or only for me, uh, d click whichever one you want and press install. And it should install. And yes, I do want it to make changes to my computer. And then you just wait for it to install. I'll be right back, guys. And here we go. Um, the Scratch desktop setup is complete. Um, and you want to click Finish. And it should be good. Um, it's taking a while. Uh, here we go. And now it should run. Scratch. Okay, here we go. Scratch desktop is loading. We should be here in a moment. And here we go. This is Scratch. Now, today I'm not going to show you how to use any of these doohickeys and thingamabobs. These you'll learn about in later tutorials. Today I'm just going to show you an introduction. So, over here you have the the coding section where you can place blocks, where you can place blocks and stuff. It's pretty cool. And this is where you're going to spend. This is where you're going to spend most of your most of your time on scratch because this is where you because this is where the good stuff actually goes down this is all we're all gonna we're gonna learn more about this in later tutorials for now let's move on to the costume section while you're well you're where you'll be making your sprites your your costumes for your sprites to to make a whole new sprite, you need to go over here. But this is just to do costumes for your sprites. 
This is the sound section where you can choose a sound to put into your program. This is possibly the hardest part of, of it because you need to implement your own sounds, which if you don't have a if you don't have a proper microphone can be a problem. And luckily there there is a big library of stuff. There is a big library of of sounds um that you can use. All animals, effects, loops, notes, percussions, space, sports, voice, and wacky. Oh, and there's also um a library for cost for there's also a library for costumes, I forgot to mention that. Animals, people, fantasy, dance, music, sports, food, fashion, and letters. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. Then, there's over here, where you, where they're just, you can, you can just take this stuff and do whatever you want with it basically you can get you can you can make music draw with a pen add video sensing text to speech you can translate stuff you can use makey makey which i have no idea what that is micro bit which is pretty cool i not i'm not going to lie lego mindstorm ev3 um in collaboration with lego of course and the lego boost and there's also the lego education we do too and go direct force and acceleration. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And there's also oh, and we we cannot forget about this, the backdrop painter. Here, the backdrop maker. Here you can you can you can use the codings to select what backdrop there is. You there is no for you. Your coding options for the stage are limited because I don't think the backdrop is supposed to move in most cases, except for maybe in platformers. So there's no motion blocks. For for looks, all you can do is change the background and stuff, and change the color and stuff. Um, you can use all this other stuff, like the variables and the operators and the sensing and the control and stuff like that, but motion and motion there is no motion and looks is limited so yeah you can also you, there's also a library for the backdrops and you can paint your own of course and yeah also to run your program you have to press this green flag that says go and then once you run it, you can press this red octagon that says stop to stop it. There's also a block that that allows you to stop it without having to press this, but we'll learn more about that in a later in a later tutorial. For now, let's just for now, let's just I'm going to tell you about this at the top. Here you can name here you can name your project. Let's name it scratch tutorial project there we go and here's some tutorials as well so you could just go learn here but you know what you're already watching my series you might as well just keep watching it <laughs> um, you can edit turn on turbo, turbo mode I honestly have no idea what that does and you can start a new one, load from your computer, or save to your computer. There's also this, which uh, you can select your language. Let's do let's do German, cause why not? I I'm part German, so yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that's that's it. That's pretty much. And that's pretty much the whole introduction to what you can do in Scratch. Um, um, if you if you're watching this in the future, um, if you're watching this 
the day after I upload this video or longer, then you can then you can probably watch the second episode right now. But if you're watching this the day it's uploaded, then there is no second episode yet. But in the second episode, I am going to be talking about the motion. I'm going to be talking about the motion and look blocks, and how you can do move and how you can use the move and go to blocks, and the say think and switch costume blocks. So, I'll see you guys in the next episode of the Scratch Tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!